Hello, good yo-yo people. I'm Nate, and this is Let's Talk Yo-Yo. Today, I am reviewing The Quail by ART. This is my review of The Quail. In this, in the hand section, we're gonna talk about the shape and the design of this. This is quite a unique yo-yo um, for ART. It doesn't look like it at first. It looks kind of like a similar model from all their other yo-yos, but it's quite different. This yo-yo kind of still falls within sort of the framework of their design approach, but it's different at the same time. And we'll talk about that. So um, at first, it kind of looks like the majority of their organic yo-yos. Um, it's a great shape, it uh, has uh, that um, sort of uh, classic smooth sort of look there uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on the wall there. So it's not completely just high walled without with just like complete friction there. They describe this yo-yo kind of a in-between of the grail and the uh, sparrow. And so it has the floatiness of the grail and the nimble sort of smaller diameter of the sparrow. And I would agree just from looking at the specs that that's pretty close to what this is. However, the biggest difference in this, and you'll see in the specs here, and if you don't know this, it's an A-size bearing yo-yo. So this yo-yo was machined as most ART yo-yos for their, for their own line are machined by OneDrop, and which I love OneDrop. They, they machine fantastic yo-yos, and um, this is no different. Fantastic machining. One thing that they don't do very commonly, though, is A-size bearings. And so... Um, the response isn't your typical um, one drop response as well and so this is hand poured silicone and so it talks about in the description that it's just really super tight binds which absolutely is you know one of the reasons I sit with a yo-yo for about a week or so before I review it is because sometimes out of the box is not a really good first impression yes of course when you first throw a yo-yo it's kind of a make it or break it but this is a yo-yo that I had to play with for quite a while to really break it in, especially with that flowable silicone response. It was really grabby at first, and the standard string that it came with was a little bit too grabby. It was just a regular poly string. So I threw on here just a completely 100% nylon string, which is a little slicker. That helped right away, but really the biggest thing that helped was breaking in the pads, and that just takes time. And so I put quite a few hours into this yo-yo, and the yo-yo has changed in its playability drastically since it's been broken in. The yo-yo itself is pure matte finished, uh, really nice durable finish there. One drop does that commonly on their yo-yos. Love this just blue here, um, nothing crazy. Uh, it's a nice shade of blue, nice and deep, and that pure matte finish really allows Anno to pop really nicely as well. So the bowl is really reminiscent of the grail on this yo-yo, uh, but the the actual diameter of the yo-yo is way more representative of the Sparrow. With the A-size bearing, everything has changed on this. Um, and we'll talk about this a little bit more on the string section, but it, just the physics of it, I'm not, I, I don't know all the science behind it, but the reality is uh, it spins faster and quicker because of a smaller axle, essentially. All right, plus um, it's also more stable because there's a smaller, a closer point uh, okay, what's the term? I don't even know the terminology, um, but maybe somebody out there who's more of a uh, scientifically minded, math minded person than me will, will understand I, that the physics of it, that the closer you get to the actual center of a radius, uh, the more smooth it's going to be and the more balanced it's going to be, right? Does that make sense? I think that's, I think that's right. That sounds like good science to me. Maybe that's just my experience with this yo-yo. It's very stable, which we'll talk a little bit more in the, uh, on the string section. But man, um, it was not an absolute first love because I had to break it in. But after I broke it in, man, it just whew, became something I really started to enjoy and I really like this yo-yo and I like the approach and I like that ART offers something different and this is no exception to that. So I really think this yo-yo, the quail, is really for somebody who maybe has a little bit of everything that wants something unique 
Um, a lot of the yo-yos I've been personally buying too lately have been sort of those unique yo-yos, not those cookie cutter yo-yos. This is not a cookie cutter yo-yo. Even though it kind of looks like similar to their line, it is very different. And so let's go ahead and actually play it. We'll talk more about the playability and um, yeah, let's go play it. All right. So I mentioned in the pan section that the pads on this were really tight um, and, and just really needed broken in. That was really all there was. There wasn't anything wrong with the response. It just needed broken in because it's flowable silicone. If you've not played anything with flowable silicone, you kind of need to break it in. And uh, it didn't take long. It took maybe a good hour of play, probably. One of the tests that I do is to do an over under boingy boing. And now that's fine. Where before it was like under here, it was catching instantly. I also did put on their 100% nylon string, which did help. It's a little slicker than your poly string. Maybe just a slicker string. Plus uh, they recommend also putting a, a standard thickness string on there. So nothing super thick. It might just grab a little bit. But I think honestly, if you broke those pads in well enough, it'll be fine. The first thing we'll talk about is with that A size bearing. What are the features and benefits of that A size bearing? The w first thing is just the RPMs on this yo-yo, the rotations per minute are ridiculous. Now I've, I've not, I don't have any way to like show what that difference is, but you can feel the difference in the power of this yo-yo. The binds on there, of course, also because the pads are closer to the actual center of the yo-yo, the binds are super, super, super tight. I am not losing binds at all. When the yo-yo is slowing down, I have no problem just binding and it, it's like never missed a bind, seriously. Um, it is consistent and um, it's fantastic. You know, so binds like that, it just grabs almost instantly, um, which does take some getting used to. Um, so if you're doing multiple string wraps, you really got to be careful um, on your form. You know, in the description of this yo-yo on their website, they talked about how, you know, if your form is not perfect of this yo-yo, be ready to be hit in the face, basically. And um, they're absolutely right. Um, but, you know, again, once you break it in, I'm not really finding an issue there. Uh, the other thing with that, just, I don't know, I feel like this kind of yo-yo, I, I want to throw longer combos with. Does that make sense? I don't normally throw fairly long tricks. Most of my tricks are pretty quick. Um, but I feel like this has just that flow and like, like you just want to play it longer. Let's go ahead and throw a trick and we'll have some last minute remarks, okay? <laughs> Love the flow of tricks like that. Simple elements flow together really well. And that trick really showcases the finesse that you have to have with this yo-yo. I feel like you play with the yo-yo like this, shooting some combos that you typically, you don't have to really compensate for because it just kind of has a little more give to it and a little bit more forgiveness. This yo-yo is not. And so I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a really good thing because I think it's gonna make you a more um, smooth playing thrower and smooth out some of those tricks that you've kind of been so used to maybe. And um, I think it's a good thing, right? Um, to have more finesse in your yo-yo play. And so, the, yeah, the couple of those little elements like um, even early on, like this little maneuver here, if I don't hit that quite right and I stay kind of steady with that, it will bind right back up. So the quail is certainly something that looks like an ART yo-yo, but it is not the same. And it's, it's really just kind of a unique yo-yo in the market right now in general. And something as simple as changing up the bearing size to a, what is standard and what is normal. So that's kind of ART's thing. They don't do the normal. They, don't, they aren't cookie cutter uh, yo-yos. They are not cookie cutter throwers and a company. They just do things different. Man, I, I really feel like the Quail is offering something just different that's out there right now. Uh, as far as organic yo-yos, I, I mean, of course, I love organic yo-yos. So, but one of the things that, again, the best thing that's offering for this is just the unique playability, the crazy amount of spin times this has, um, the stability on the string, the nimbleness, the floatiness. It has all of those things 
just because they changed a few little things and thought outside the box just a little bit. So that's my review of the Quail. Really enjoyed this yo-yo. I think you will too. And as usual, good day and good yo-yo.